And in today's video, you'll find out how I made this stack a little bit bigger. And also, this stack. How this performed, a little bit of tedding action, and obviously some mowing action. Well, there we are, we're in this uh, fast grass that I looked at yesterday, well, in the last video. Um, I was going to leave it two days, but in the, end of, in the end I've decided to just get on and mow it because told me don't leave it too late don't leave it too close to the weekend so because there's lots of other people that have mowed that want to try and make hay ledge and hay so the forecast isn't great uh, yesterday it looked clear for a, a week or more but today uh, well, today's Tuesday and they're already forecasting rain for Saturday and maybe sun, uh, Friday and maybe Saturday. So, and it seems to be getting worse every time I look at it, so. So I'm cracking on, I'm getting it done. Thought I'd cut it today. It's very lush, fresh stuff and all the, it's a, literally the sun has only just come out. The skies have cleared. It's been really dull all morning. It's like, it must be six o'clock in the evening now and it seems to be the trend the last couple of days the the evening is the nicest part of the day mornings are really bleak and dull it's been trying to spit all day today but we haven't actually had any rain uh, so i was thinking that i'll probably try and uh, turn it out tomorrow leave it tomorrow and then bail it thursday to uh, especially if you know we're only gonna have half a day of sunshine so that's the plan and hopefully this will be some nice sort of oh, here. nice saleable maybe silage because uh, I don't think I'm gonna need all the silage that I'm making Well, I've just done a bit of mowing here. This is uh, the uh, the block of land that I call Sterling's. This triangle here by the motorway goes up to a goes up to a triangle point. That's really wet up there. I've just had a walk. Um, that's where I've been ticking, tipping all my muck all winter. It's fairly sunk down and disappeared. There was quite a big heap there, but it's, it sort of just disappears. But yeah, there's a monster crop on here. I don't know what it is. It's, for, I don't know, is it very poor silage or do I try and make hay? I, don't, I just don't know. I'm going to end up with a hell of a lot of hay slash haylage. That's my only worry. So I've been in and I've just mowed around this, this, this field here where I'm stood. Is like three acres and that this is like the driest field that I've got uh, so I knew it would travel ideally like I've rolled I rolled this field all as one included that piece and this piece and rolled it straight up uh, and that would have been ideally how I would have cut it that's how I cut it last year but I didn't want to risk uh, all around this muck pit is wet and in the top corners wet so it seemed pointless making a mess so I've cut across and I've gone all the way around this field and my plan is when he uh, when the baler man comes to do the uh, fast grass stuff that I've just mowed I'll get him to come and just nip and pick this headland up really just to have a just have a go and see what it, it was like if it was if it traveled really well and I thought it was dry I could have carried on and gone through into the next field uh, and done the headlands on that but I had a walk around it this morning and there's a, a lot of the corners are very wet so I'd end up having to leave the corners um, which I didn't really want which it's just going to end up with loads of bits that aren't mowed so I just think maybe I should just hang on uh, because there's no the, the forecasting rain now at the weekend it's Tuesday today forecasting rain Saturday so um, there's no mad rush ne the following next week looks like we're gonna have another bit of a dry spell so I'm 
just going to see what happens then. But yeah, my plan would be to mow the headlands off uh, all the way around this, like I have done in there. Maybe even more, a thicker, maybe I'll go like seven or eight times round. Uh, and just uh, round bale it and silage it. Um, and then try and make hay some small bales. And once I've filled my shed with small bales, uh, maybe some round bales. But we'll see how we get on. That might not work out at all. But yeah, there's, there's going to be some monster amount of grass in here. So, and it never got sprayed. It's first year for quite a few years that I've not sprayed it. And to be fair, that field where I've just mowed, there's hardly any weeds in it at all. It's really clean. Um, the little bit, triangle bit, uh, has got buttercups, but that hasn't been sprayed as much because I've only just started mowing that last year. Uh, there are quite a few docks, especially near the, on the far side by the road, which is a bit annoying because they're just probably getting to the point where they're the seed, you know, the seeds are just, you know, heading towards being viable. So I'm keen to get it cut as soon as I can, really. But yeah, at the same time, I don't really want a ploughed field. So a bit of a balance. So. Anyway, I've got something to go at tomorrow and the next day. So we'll see how it, how we get on getting the bales, these bales off. Uh, and I've got that other field to clear. So. Uh, we'll see how it travels and then hopefully I'll be back out here mowing the rest before too long. So, right, I'm gonna go home and have me some tea. We're teading, we're teading the stuff I mowed last night. And I've typically forgotten to bring my camera. I've been after carrying it around with me all morning uh, and not filming anything. And I went and left it in my Land Rover. Uh, that's why I'm filming it with my phone. But the sun did come out uh, for a couple of hours while I've just been out to fetch brewer's grains, but it's gone back in, it's cloudy again now. I mean, the sky looks blue, but where we are now, uh, the sunshine has disappeared. Yeah. But yeah, it's not a massive crop uh, this time, but oh, oh, quite. I'm an aeroplane. So I'm quite pleased with how it's come back. So I'm thinking of, because it's not really been very bright, the plan is to probably bale it tomorrow. So reasonably early and get the bales all collected tomorrow. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping the stuff out the middle, I'll probably Put all the headland bales to one side because they're a bit. I've mowed it very close to the edge, so it's a bit weedy. And then all the stuff out the middle might keep separate to uh, potentially sell if I end up with too much because this should be quite nice silage to sell, hopefully, if it doesn't rain. But that's the plan. The uh, forecast has got better. Uh, it was forecast rain for Friday. Today is Wednesday. Uh, it was forecast rain Friday, Saturday, but now it's it, uh, the sat uh, the Friday rain has disappeared, and uh, there's just drizzle on Saturday. So if we don't get too much, I might mow some uh, mow for some more for some hay around then on the weekend. Maybe we'll see what we get because the following next week looks quite sunny. So, I'll take it as it comes. So it's the next day. Uh, Thursday today. So I'm just rowing up this grass that I was tedding yesterday. Uh, the rake isn't behaving perfectly, but it is just trying its best. It doesn't like this um, patchy ground because it's there's a lot of soil showing this stalky grass seems to fall down in between the you know the re the residual plants and uh, the rake just doesn't I don't know it just misses quite a lot I don't know whether you can see but especially nearest the row e either side it just seems to leave bits but 
if you lower it down any more it just really scratches the ground so you can't win it seems to do a much better job raking on like a you know on like more of a thick turfy uh, you know established grass lay rather than this sort of fast grass but maybe all rakes are a bit like that I don't know so yeah hopefully I'll get this bit done and then I've mowed a li uh, that little bit of headlands uh, that I showed you so I'll go and row, try and row that up I never tethered that out so I haven't been back and looked at it but it'll be plenty dry enough especially with how nice it is now look at the sky so yeah I'm just gonna the baler man I don't know whether he's on his way or he said he would come this afternoon so I thought I would just get ahead of the game and get it all rowed off and then I can go and drop the rake off and put the loader on and I'm ready to go hopefully shift shift as many of the bales as I can tonight so. well Taylor man's here I'm just pottering about collecting the headland bales because I'm just going to put them separate because the uh, I mowed it tight to the edge uh, for whatever reason and it, there's quite a bit of weeding around the edge so I thought well I'll just keep them separate and I'll use, make sure I use them myself just in case I ever end up selling the, the bales out the middle because they're quite nice stuff so yeah I think there was um, I think there were how many was there 78 bales on the first cut so I don't think there'll be that many this time but we'll see well it's the next day now it's day today and I'm just collecting these uh, there was 10 bales uh, of sterlings off this headland uh, so yeah I've sort of my purpose of cutting a bit in here was to sort of test the water and see what the ground was like and I'm reasonably pleased I'm just gonna crack on hopefully uh, get back here in mowing the rest of this today but we'll see how it goes so yeah probably I've got a couple more loads to fetch from the other field and then and then I can maybe put the mower on so see how it goes but anyway probably end the video here the next video hopefully I'll be trying to make some hay and yeah the weather forecast just keeps changing every time I look at it this morning I woke up and it was Forecast rain all week, and then about an hour later, I looked at it again, and all the rain had gone. So, yeah, really difficult to uh, put your faith in the forecast. But it's warm, it's dry at the moment, so I think you just got to take a chance. I don't know whether I'll mow everything, but I'm definitely going to mow some and have a go. So, we'll see how it goes. Well, I'm mowing again. This is the little uh, four acre patch we reseeded last year. And there's, yeah, there's a monster, monstrous amount of grass on it. Yeah, there's a couple of wet spots, just mainly in the corners of the field, which are always wet, but they're just wetter than normal. But other than that, uh, I think the majority of the field's all right, so I think it'll travel. Um, for the sake of just missing a couple of the wet spots, it's because we're 